has nothing to do with whether or not the uh, the response was rational. Wait, it it absolutely does. God, I can't watch anymore. Dude, I can't engage. I just want to play League. I can't. I can't engage with these people anymore. It's just like everything they say is lacking experience in the real world. It's obviously stupid. That is uh, built by Americans and is uses like a launching platform for. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, it like, seems to me, like, you're, like, almost Hassan-like in your oh, ability to take an L on Are you for real right now? I'm being perfectly like, real. You, in both oh, cases, oh, I feel I just, like there's okay, no bosh, way to explain bosh, 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 to you. Demon Mama debates a DGG um, review stealth so take. 23 hours ago. Confused Destiny viewer can't understand boundaries. So, so do, you think, do you think Destiny is essentially saying that a woman who can't say no uh, toward... Uh, when a guy stealths him, deserve to get raped. Yes. You think that's what, you think that's <laughs> what the f How could you possibly take that? <laughs> okay. That sounds about what I... You know what? Yeah, I do believe that. Yeah, I do. Sure. Everybody deserves every bad thing that happens to them, okay? I have fully embraced the Ayurvedic lifestyle. I believe in karma. Um, and if bad things happen to you, it's your fault, I guess. That's Yeah, that's me. I do think yes, and I think that's especially true when you see the conversation that he had with Hans of Harkir, in which the woman further, the woman in question at in this particular topic, uh, uh, step uh, said yes, I have been on other occasions, and telling somebody no when I tried to fight back, uh, I was only harder, and then he laughed at that and said, well, I guess you should just stop. Having I'm sorry, that is just a the phrasing of that is just. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny. Stop. <clears throat> Stop having casual sex. Okay. Easy. Sex. So, yes, I do think that Destiny is indeed making the statement that if you uh that if it's you funny, uh if you can't stop somebody from f***ing you, then you deserve to be f***ed. And guess what? Why can't why Damn, Demon Mama will probably never debate me again. It sucks because the only people that I have to debate are, I'd say idiots, but Demon Mama's an idiot. They're not even idiots, it's just like people like Haas are like screaming all the time. And then the, all the left-leaning people now are too scared to debate for good reason. But like, this is such a stupid take. It's gotta be so boring. Like, not even engaging with what I'm saying, but just making the most absurd fucking version of like, so like, imagine I come here and I'm like, oh, well, Demon Mama, all Demon Mama wants to do is send women to the factories. That's all she's doing. She just wants to send women to the factories. All she's doing is sending women to the, like just saying that like over and over and over again. I feel like your brain has to just leak out of your ear at some point. The reality is there are a lot of people who cannot physically stop someone from fucking you. And it is, and it is not just, do I think, insane but also okay 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 wait, 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 let, me let me finish 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 i'm not and don't bro me okay oh do you not like the term bro i don't like i don't like people i don't know calling me bro i'm not your bro sorry it's just in my vernacular it's all good i get i get you no worries i'm just you know i'm just reminding you i'm not mad i mean that's vosh nowadays sure that is all vosh does me as well fucking debate bro my bad i'm just a debate bro it's all good it's fine um the uh uh I, now I can't recall what I was even going to say. Uh, go ahead. I, I <laughs> Debate okay. one. Okay. There's <laughs> Sigma. a difference between someone violently uh, you and uh, f uh, physically uh, assaulting you in terms of like, in terms of like, you can't stop them. Whereas someone's just taking out conduct. Do you understand that these are two different levels you're of? Doing, uh, this is, you're doing you can say apology. no, right? You're doing apology. Apology. that was rape apology. It's rape. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Grow the fuck up. How's this the rape apology? Downplaying the impact of somebody being raped because of the actually, actually, of the actually, I, I, actually. Hey, heads up! Downplaying some things, not it's not downplaying it, but like appropriately categorizing things as they are is actually a really important part of like figuring out how you should feel about things in life. When you have a friend that comes up to you and like, oh my god, my fucking life is over, my fucking cat died, like, oh it's like, hey, whoa, hey, <laughs> calm the fuck down. You can get another animal. It sucks, your cat died. Chill, it's not the end of the world, right? Downplaying somebody's like over-exaggerated emotions, you're not even downplaying it, but like setting expectations on how you should, it's actually totally fine. To try to pretend that there aren't different levels of sexual coercion is so stupid. But I mean, when your audience is 95% virgins, I guess, and when you're a virgin, maybe it, maybe it is all the same shit to you, but like, Jesus Christ. 
so actually, uh, I'll push on that. Would you agree that the impact of uh, getting stealth is a lot different than being vi violent? Do you Absolutely. think these two are the exact same impact? No, I don't okay, think they're so... the exact same thing. But but that doesn't matter because uh, that doesn't have any bearing on the situation because uh, the severity of the of the sexual assault has nothing to do with whether or not the uh, the response was rational. Wait, it. It absolutely does. God, I can't watch anymore. That dude, I can't engage. With it. I just want to play league. I can't. I can't engage with these people anymore. It's just like everything they say is lacking experience in the real world. It's obviously stupid. Like if you take two seconds, like okay, well yesterday a guy that weighed 150 pounds more than me threw me against a fucking wall and fucking me. Okay, and then another person like, bro, I had the same experience yesterday. I went out with this guy and we had like 25 shots and he asked me to go back to his house and I did and then we went upstairs and I don't really remember much and we started touching each other and we fucked. I had the same experience you did yeah we were both like bro no you didn't you fucking moron love you i'm sorry i was playing league it's not the same experience there aren't the same factors at play and different reactions are definitely going to be judged more harshly depending on the situation that you're in okay like, to pretend that all these situations are the same this is why i don't like the term sexual assault i don't like the term rape it's exactly for this region reason because when, when you use one word to describe everything you get people with no real life experience like demon dipshit here that try to say like, oh yeah well they're all rape they're all the same they're all sexual assault they're all the same all of this all of this stuff is here and it's all the same. it's like no it's not all the same like and the response to, uh, to especially given it's not, that- I'm, I'm not talking about the response, I'm talking about the impact. That's two different things. Yeah, but the impact, well, I don't know what you're talking, I don't know why the impact would matter. Here. Okay. I don't okay. understand what so, you're So, okay, to okay, yeah, yeah, what yeah. The, uh, okay, would you agree, would you agree that, uh, would you agree that it is easier to say, it is easier to stop someone stealthing you than someone violently you? Probably. It's even just saying probably here, it's so obvious that you're coming from a place about it. The answer is obviously yes, of course. Maybe, I don't know. I've never. What do you mean, maybe? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Oh don't my know God, did she say the first honest thing? She said, I've never had sex before, so I don't know any of these topics. Just say that. Was she going to say that? Probably, maybe, I don't know. I've never. What do you mean, never, maybe? I don't it's... know. Well, I don't know how hard it is to stop somebody from stealthing you. Like, um, what if, what if, what if you see. Uh, let, let's, let me just give you an example here. Uh, giant trigger. Yeah, please. Get, I want to hear the, <laughs> let's say a guy's on top of you and he reaches down to take the condom off and you're like, please stop. And he's like, well, actually, I just want to let you know that I'm the third place world UFC fucking fighter. Maybe that guy, right? Jesus Christ. Warning, everybody. Uh, uh, just a warning. Okay. Let's say a dude pulls his condom off and he's pounding into you and you try to stop him but he keeps going you've just this situation has just changed from you getting stealth to you just no 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 getting... that's not what we're talking about we're talking about a situation where you see someone taking off a condom you see i'm not talking about where yeah and then i like how the like you, you now she's gonna do the thing like, you see them taking a, like just answer the fuck just engage with the question don't, everything doesn't have to be a goddamn performance i understand you're a fucking clown okay take off the makeup sometimes and talk to people though jesus Okay. Yeah, yeah, but like, you see but them like, chucking off. But we don't know, but see, but do you see this is the situation where you don't know how they no, took it off? What if they, no, what if they, wait a the minute, context, stop, stop. That's the context which stop. Destiny responded to. Stop for a second, okay? You don't know any of the context about... Uh, about how it was removed. We. This is again. This is this is an absurd level absurd. of apology for a rapist. rapist. You're making up all. Who's apologizing for the rapist? At any point, has anybody said that this is acceptable or okay behavior? Has anybody said that? Have I said that? Has anybody even like? kinds of what ifs and what ifs and what ifs ultimately when what you could say is no being people is wrong oh look, that's what we need to hear oh yes it's wrong thank you look let me just give you an example of this i want to be as charitable as possible because i i i feel like i feel like you're coming here in in, in relatively good faith even though i disagree very strongly with your with your uh position on this um let me give you an example if i'm if i am being penetrated and somebody pulls out for a second and peels off a uh, uh, a a condom and I see them doing that before they start thrusting into me again. Um, that is very very. That is there is no difference in how you would respond to that to how you would respond to being uh, uh, the 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 more extreme uh, formal rape. There is just, just don't just 
please, please, okay? You can talk about black people and all the other things that you've never seen in your life before, just not sex, okay? Just leave that one alone, okay? It's obvious that you have no idea what you're talking about. It's obvious you're coming from a place of little to maybe no experience whatsoever. Or maybe it's not obvious, I guess, if your audiences are all virgins too. The, the idea that like a hardcore rape and a stealth are going to elicit the same feelings, like, I, I don't have to say to you, dude, like, just stop. <laughs> Please just stop. It's painful. It's painful to listen to. Holy shit. There's no difference. They are. They have done something. Your that your consent has now been violated, and this person is in you. They might be in close quarters. We don't know what it means to say when somebody says, "I saw them taking it off." It could mean they took it off between thrusts. It's very easy to remove a, con a condom, and I find it concerning. Hey, also heads up if you're you, uh, and I hate that I even know this because <laughs> I hate condoms. Okay, but even I know this. It is not that easy to remove a condom. It's going to take you a little bit. Now, not like minutes or whatever. But you can't, you can't pull them from the top and rip them off. Those motherfuckers stick, okay? If it is really, really, really easy to take off a condom, you're not using the right size. Got a smaller size, okay? Because if that shit is just slipping off, you're fucking up, okay? You gotta roll those motherfuckers from the bottom on up. Very concerning that your and Destiny's first in instinct is to be like, is to downplay the severity of that situation because you can imagine a situation where it might be easier to stop somebody. But I can imagine many where it's not. And it's concerning to me that your first instinct is to defend the rapist and not the- Who's defending the rapist? Why, why am I listening to this? Where's Bing? Bing, save me. <laughs> Bing, I need you to save me. <laughs> the victim. Do you see? No, no. The reason why it is so important to point out the fact that she's, uh, the fact that, uh, the fact that the context of, okay, well, she saw, she saw the guy taking off the condom is because that is the, uh, even if, even if, even if the woman ended up clarifying later on that she didn't know that he took off the condom, that was the context in which Destiny responded to, right? It doesn't so, matter. That context why? still why does it not doesn't. Why? Why Wait, wait. Because why does it not the matter? core argument. Wait, because the core argument. Okay. Is the core argument okay. being made is still identical. Okay, and, okay, so, uh, and, wait, I still wait, have a question wait, for you then. Wait, I wanna, wait, I wanna, wait, wait, I wanna, I wanna answer the question you just asked. First of no, all- No, no, you, you didn't no, answer. No, no, I didn't, I, stop, please, for the love of God. I asked I if can, it was- Yeah, stop. Fine, okay, go. Stop, go, don't go. make me irritated by fucking doing this shit. Just let me finish my, what I wanted to say. I just said I wanted to add to what I was saying. No, it doesn't matter because the core argument is exactly the same. And secondly, my, previous argument which is that i find it concerning that the first instinct and the continued instinct is to err on the side in the favorability of a rapist when we already know that there is a whole bunch of ways that this uh uh that, that, it, that it, it it is it, it could not have been that way so for example if you and destiny make the assumption that oh maybe she maybe he stood up and took the condom off on the other side of the room which i imagine is what you're sort of thinking of that's <laughs> well, who would think of it that way who would do that I'm gonna go to the other side of the room to take off the condom. Hold on, let me go close the blinds. <laughs> like what? Only one potential scenario, and the fact that that is the assumed scenario, even though that evidence is not there, and that no clarification is sought, to me indicates a, a concerning thought process. So these are two separate arguments that I'm making here. Both of them are in response to the question you asked. Can I ask you something? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Can I ask sure. You uh, uh, I have to ask you this question real quick. Okay. okay. Um. Uh, do you think if Destiny knew in that moment before he made the tweet, uh, uh or before uh he retweeted or whatever, right? If you think he knew that, uh, let's say, uh, let's say, if he knew that that woman, uh, she didn't know that the guy took off the condom, right? It, uh, and she didn't find out till after. Do you think Destiny would still say, "Hey, it's up to you. You should have said no when he took it off." I don't know that the answer is obviously no. I probably wouldn't have tweeted that. The whole reason why I tweeted in the first place, nobody seems to remember, is because the reason why she gave for not saying anything initially was because it's awkward, and then they didn't clarify until later on. Oh well, I didn't know about it until afterwards. Okay. So you're you're asking me to to postulate. Why? A, you're, you're asking me to postulate an alternate world. I don't <laughs> I don't know, and I don't care. That's okay. Gotcha. To me. Sir, you've just killed a family of four. Don't you think that if you wouldn't have been dri driving drunk tonight, that that wouldn't have happened? Uh, officer, you're asking me to postulate a different word. Like, okay. 
Me. Okay, gotcha. Well, if you don't, if you don't care, then I don't know why you can say that it's not important because what? that's the exact mindset. Because that's how, that's how he perceived the happened. situation to have gone. That's not what happened. That's literally no, exactly it's not what happened. happened. No, 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 no. Life. He didn't perceive it's that. He assumed. He assumed it and then doubled down. It's funny because see, this is the part where you start to look. You really get egg on your face, <laughs> and this is why I think the people that try to defend Destiny are are really putting themselves in a bad position because it. It, when the clarification did happen, his response was to laugh and say, I don't think you should be having sex at all. Yeah, because I think when the clarification came, I think she said she'd gotten like stealth three times and raped. And it's like, and she's like, this girl's like in her early 20s. And it's like, dude, if this is your experience of sex so far, it's time to take a step back and reevaluate your approach because clearly something is not working. Okay. So it's funny because he did get the clarification. And because when he got the clarification, he doubled down and made his position even worse. So this is this point is a big loss for you and the destiny big side. Big loss for you and because the destiny side. Because he did that. We saw what happened when the evidence was clarified. He continued to make the exact same argument, which is more damning. Big loss, guys. Okay. Okay, can I ask yeah. you something now? Sure, sure. Okay. Have you ever been sexually assaulted? I recognize this is a personal question. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. But I just, uh. I just genuinely want to ask you. I don't know why it matters. I want to know. Why does it matter? Because I have. Okay. Uh, again, okay. why does it matter? And, uh, and it's, oh, wait, why does it matter? Because it- No, I, I don't believe Demon Mama here. I don't think it's true. I hate these fucking people with every fiber of my fucking being. God, I fucking hate these people so much. Yeah, because, what is, because why is this important? People are concept? hurt by this, okay? People are really hurt by this type of uh, by this type of advocacy, by this type of um, lack of, of of empathy towards people who are hurt. And guess what? I am a, a very strong and extremely capable of fighting individual. And when I was sexually assaulted, I couldn't do anything against it because of the position that I was in, because of the the social context that I was in. There was nothing to be done about it. It just happened, and then it was over, and it sucked, and it hurt, and it shouldn't have happened. So I want people to think about that a little bit, to, to take themselves out of the video game brain of trying to logic lord every single... Uh, okay, I, yeah, let's, I need to invent more personal stories to win my debates. All right, what else? I, I'm done. I don't want to watch this. It's a fucking moron. How about you and I check live for yourselves for time's sake? Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you say, tell... tell Tell what you told me about live stream fails. Yeah, say it. Apparently, live stream fails is not doing too good. Is what oh, I, I heard. Oh, I can say that here. It's I forgot. High. Yeah, you can say whatever oh, fuck I mean, you want. It's, it's not going to get clipped. No, live stream fails is dying. Apparently, like. Oh, chat will agree. No, it is. It's not, it is. It is not as po popular as it was. Their daily was. actives. That's, have, it's hundred percent true. Let's look at the. Oh, well, look at that. Their daily actives are six thousand currently, yeah. and it used to be like at fifteen, twelve. Oh, a lot of clips used to get what ten k, twenty k upvotes. What do they get now? 5k, 3k, 1 yeah. o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 14,000 online now. Okay. <clears throat> Clock them. Yeah, it's definitely dying. Yeah, smoking on the LSF pack, boys, you know? And... Kind of weird that you got banned from here, but you're still using it for content. No, I actually don't ever use it. I never we go see on you it. On Twitter well, I mean, until this very moment an to make so a point, but that's it. But yeah, no, it's it's given me a lot of it. It has given me a lot I, and, and of mental clarity say, not being on it. I think you were a big factor in LSF getting rip bozo. Absolutely not true. That dude, I hate and I just want to play games. I hate all these fucking people, dude. I hate this community. I hate like all these spoiled fucking rich college kids that have had everything handed to them their entire fucking life. Like I found them back in private high school, where it's just a bunch of fucking prep kids that are like crying about like the fact that their dad only got them like hey, I only got a two thousand four Mustang instead of the new like two thousand seven. Like who the fuck care? Like you're actually so or not even they didn't buy Mustangs. It was like BMWs and weird shit back then. Um, like I. These guys are so spoiled. Like, can you come? Ima that like imagine work. how clueless you have oh, to be to even utter that statement. Like, oh, I've had a lot of mental clarity since I was unbanned or since I was banned from all this stuff. Bro, just don't read it. Just don't go to the subreddit. Like, shut the fuck up. Mookie, seriously? Right? This stupid fucking <clears throat> meme. Is it that hard? Like the five hundred thousand a month you're making, it, like, and the four million dollar Hollywood <laughs> mansion it. with all of your like Mexican pool boys, or whatever. Like, that's not enough for you to be okay in life. Like the bullying from rando schizoids on LSF is actually causing you like mental anguish. 
Like, how, like how fucking pathetic are you? Jesus Christ! For all of these streamers, like, I, like it's so easy too. Like, especially when you've been on the internet, like, just go away. Like, if there are bad times coming, if there's gonna be bad. There's, just turn it off for like two days and then come back, and it's fine. That's what I do. I do it on my own subreddit. Fuck it. Leave for two days, come back. Everybody's moved on. Jesus Christ! Fucking babies, dude. <clears throat> Having money does not cure you of depression. Um, yeah, true. But like when you've always had money, you can always tell those people that have always had money, right? I don't know. I feel pretty happy doing what I do. You, this is like for the first like seven years of my career, anytime I got a lot of internet hate, I always thought, man, well, is it worse right now that there are randos online say so they want to kill me or they hate me or they rape my kid, blah, 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 blah. Or would it be worse if I was cleaning carpets again? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to deal with some internet hate. I think I could do that today. We'll be okay. I think we'll make it, you know? I think we'll get through this one. You know, like, what? Like, the comparison is, like, so fucking obvious. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with, like, do I want to go back to serving customers in a cafe, uh, working 60 hours a week for 15 an hour? Mm, or do I want to make another, you know, like, $16,000 doing, like, five hours of sponsoring? Wow, <sighs> well, there's a lot of hate threads on LSF. I don't know, man. I got to think of it, right? Like, it's just, it's just, like, all streamers are spoiled fucking children. Like, that's all they are. And then it's all, like, celeb culture and everything now and, like, clout chasing, like, fucking losers and everything. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's very easy to focus on the negative. It's human. Well, it's because for these people, the biggest negatives they've ever had in their life are strangers online talking shit about them. That's it. Like, the every single of all the interactions they've had in their lives, the worst things that have happened are people talking shit about them online. So I, I guess, of course, that's going to be the thing they fixate on. They, um, nice five. Hit. They knew. I think that's part of the reason why they were like making me. They wanted me to go back on it. Were they gonna like sponsor you? No, they were just they were just personally saying like, you know, we want to fix it. We want to fix it. But I think the reason why LSF would probably want to fix it is because now what you're seeing is streamers have realized they've already milked the fuck out of LSF for everything they can get, and now they just want to be like exempt from all criticism. Like, okay, well, I got my bag from LSF, I grew my audience there, I farmed the fuck out of them, right? People like Hassan were easily the most shameless, reading threads on stream, milking threads for content, and then brigading every single thread about themselves, right? And then once they've used it, once they've used it up, they want to move on, ban it, move on. And then how good are you? Like, no criticism? because. Where, what is the official Twitch subreddit, right? It's LSF, it's the only real Twitch subreddit. And if you get removed from there, now there's no community that can like criticize you. Like you can't be criticized in your chat because you ban the fuck everybody there. None of these people have subreddits because they never really grew their shit because they just used LSF. So like you're immune from criticism on the internet at that point. Like it's, it's the best feeling that you get like the best of every world. Um, but it's probably, you're probably in a weird place if you're an LSF. You know what, two hours, no not two hours, two, how many, how long? Two years, two months? I think within a few months, I think LSF is going to get rid of um, is going to get rid of that banned streamer rule because I think other streamers are going to follow suit where they're going to be like, oh, you know, um, I want to be banned from LSF. I want to be banned from LSF. I want to be banned from LSF. And then pretty soon there's going to be like no streamers left because it's like, oh, cool, I can get I can escape all criticism by banning mentions of me from the subreddit. Is what's going to happen, you know? I feel like in a few months, I feel like it'll happen. Maybe not in a few months. Though it'll be a few more streamers. A few streamers will ask to get banned. Cutie, Hassan, who else? Yeah. It doesn't matter because like they would have to be super fucking over Has. over the top protective with like trying to make sure that other communities could not uh, you know, use it as an opportunity as a launching pad to just fucking shit on me. <laughs> Every negative comment about you online is like a brigade from somebody else, like Weren't we just saying that LSF would let any streamer prevent their content from showing up? This is a bit of a whiplash. Wait, what is whiplash? What do you mean? But that's why. Anyway, um... I mean, I feel like they should just gave you mod. I mean, you, you combed through those Reddit threads better than anyone else, you know? <laughs> it just wasn't good for my mental space. Oh, I get that. Neither is politics. It... If that's the case, you just play Elden Ring. Well... Okay, first of all... Why uh, am I farming jokes? It's, I literally does LSF have any responsibility regarding platforming streamers, or are they just appeasing them to be nice? They're just trying to be nice, I guess. 
Can't get my live stream pills. I'm out of here. I gotta go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, that's the best part. <laughs> you can't even do that. It's awesome. Uh, all right, bye chat. I gotta go. Oh, this is a beautiful watercolor, by the way, uh, from an OK Buddy poster. Bye, Miss Give. The streamer ban thing originally was for streamers abusing LSF in some ways, wasn't it? Yeah, they would. If you brigaded too much or like were commenting on stream or something or linking threads in your chat, they would ban you. But now they do it to be friendly to streamers. Preaching socialism, right? Or just preaching a couple, you know, points of socialism in itself is the new capitalism. And people still didn't understand that. They still didn't get it. <laughs> this is true. Right? They're preaching this shit that's their that's their capitalism that's their business model do you understand think about it it's fucking insane because if you if you look at most of them right like the actions don't follow the talk it's crazy man it's crazy like i think it was like four years ago right maybe three years ago where i came up with this shit it, i'm telling you bro I'm, I'm ahead of the wait people are gonna start realizing this shit two years down the line and they're gonna, you know, say, oh, train just didn't explain it correctly. <laughs> just bullshit, right? I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Same with all the other shit I... Preaching socialism, right? Or just preaching a couple, you know, points of socialism. Bill Iraq, Sky News, Arabia reports. Wow, that's really interesting, man. Wait, what? This is an eight minute video. What am I at length this for? What am I supposed to get from this? That's really cool that it happened. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it was definitely, certainly the same, uh, it was certainly the same Iranians that are, uh, currently literally in the process of, of finalizing a denuclearization agreement that would, like, remove some of the fucking sanctions and potentially normalize relations with the United States. So strange. So strange that it's happening right now. Oh, wow. I'm sure it's definitely Iran, which is what you will hear from the news. I do not believe it. Wait, is it a base or a consulate? I mean, the consulate's probably- What is he implying? That the U.S. is- it's, it's pretty hard to sneak- When it comes to shelling or like bombs or missiles or whatever, I think it's pretty hard to hide where that stuff is coming from. Um, you've got like a fuck ton of satellite imagery. You've got a fuck ton of other intel around the world that's looking into what's going on. Uh, there's like, you've got UN investigations and a shit like this. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's, I guess it's possible, but it's, I think it's pretty difficult to do. There's like all sorts of information really, like where are the, where are the weapons coming from? Who's controlling that territory? Like, um, <clears throat> oh, the IRG, the IRCG, IRCG. Isn't is it IRGC or I, isn't Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps? It's IRGC, right? Uh, already claimed uh, credit for the attack. Nice. Oh, oh, does he think Israel's doing it? Who knows what Assad thinks? That guy's on some crazy. There'll be a response shit. to Israel killed two Iranian IRGC soldiers in Syria three days ago. Wait, what? Why would they fucking bomb the Kurdish uh, American base, dude? For, as a response. That's the dumbest fucking thing. Iran response. Iran promised a response three days ago after Israel killed two IRGC soldiers in Syria. Oh damn! So even his chat already knows that there's news stories about <laughs> about this. Then why would they bomb there? Why wouldn't they bomb like? Why wouldn't they use Hezbollah to bomb like Israeli positions? You know, people who are saying it's Iraq, not Iran. Guys, I don't- I know, it doesn't matter. Nothing in the Middle East is about fucking actually Iraq at this point. Like what, you think when fucking, uh, uh, Qasem Soleimani was executed, you think that was because he was in Ir uh, Iraq? No, it's because he's uh, Iranian. <laughs> what? It's because the guy was coordinating fucking attacks on, on US troops all across the entirety of the fucking Middle East. What do you mean? This guy was the leader of the IRGC. Wait, it wasn't just, wait, what does that statement even mean? What was the point of that statement? I'm so befuddled. Does he, he's not implying they killed him just because he's Iranian, right? Or I, I, I don't actually know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. I don't know what the point of that statement was. Oh shit, hold on. Did we get Haas molding? <laughs> One second. 
<laughs> He's actually posting other pictures. Oh, man. He's actually lost it, dude. AK four foot seven. Not good. Okay, how well the sun? Slowly starting to realize that he just talked a whole bunch of shit. Now, what are the options for Hassan at this point? I think we could say, okay, yeah, maybe, but it wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past the U.S. or Israel or anybody else to false flag this. Like, it's possible, guys, but like, maybe this time. At least we'll see if we can slowly back away, slowly back away from it. But say it's plausible, it could have happened, and then move on. Maybe let's see. Or are we gonna go the nuclear route and just double down and sound like a totally fucking deranged lunatic? Let's see. Right. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people interested in keeping uh, Iran in the uh, horrible condition that it personally is. Iraq practically doesn't have a functioning state at this point, yeah. Is that true? What was the name of the group you said with false flag? It, 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 when I say MEK, I just mean CIA. It, I said MEK, but I mean CIA. Bro, your two Iraqi viewers care? Wait, what? My two Iraqi viewers would agree with everything I just said. Things that happen in Iraq have nothing to do with the Iraqi government, which is functionally non-existent. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, is Kurdistan actually an emancipated uh, state? I'm sorry, I truly don't know. No, uh, no, there is no. It's uh, autonomous. It's the uh, northern Iraqi territories are like uh, autonomous and functionally... Uh, a, a Kurdish autonomous region that is uh, built by Americans and is uses like a launching platform for Jesus Christ <laughs> the fucking the poor fucking <laughs> um, the Kurdish people in northern Iraq that have been fighting for fucking territory for how many fucking years that's just a fucking US established base that they use to fucking rape the Middle East <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> What are these Middle Eastern takes? Bro, you're gonna have to hand in your turkey card soon, all right? Actually, no, actually, hold on. That's stupid of me. That would be the Turkish line because Turkish people fucking hate Kurdish people. So I guess it actually makes sense. Maybe this is the most Turkish thing that Hassan has said. If you really think about it, actually. Or, um, Americans. Shrug. I'm Iraqi in your on. right. Wow. Sounds 100 right. MEKRCIA terrorist cult that became a U.S. asset under W and officially under Obama. Oh. Um, rumors saying the missiles were launched from Iran. I mean, dog. Come on, bro. Like, come the fuck on. You think? Like, think about this. The Iranian government, after like years of fucking crippling sanctions, despite fucking Fourteen following months. the denuclearization agreements. Under Donald Trump, still got more sanctions and still got fucked over time and time again. Oh. Who are still trying to, according to the U.S. State Department, uh, very close to finalizing the denuclearization deal this week, ends up fucking bombing an American base. Like, really, dude? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Why, why would they do that? I think that when it comes to these types of international conflicts, I think um. It, Honest question, why do some people hate you so badly? <clears throat> IDK was just curious. Oh, I'm very hateable. Um, wait until you <laughs> hear one of my food takes. Um, is it the West Wing where they have that big conversation on proportional response or whatever? And it's like super edgy. I've never actually watched the show, but I've seen the fucking clip on YouTube. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Do you guys all know this scene? You know what I was just thinking? What's that? Happening? This is different coffee than we usually have. Okay, all of you know this scene. I think that when it comes to foreign politics, I think unironically, there is some sort of kind of game being played where if somebody fucks around, then you make a public response, hey, you fucked around, I'm gonna bomb one of your things in a couple days, do you understand? And the other person's like, okay, yeah, sure. And a couple days passes, and then you bomb the thing and you go like, see, I told you, fuck you. And they're like, okay. I Like, this actually, this, this, <laughs> as stupid as this sounds, this is how this is actually how a lot of the back and forth shit works before we did this in uh, we did this in Syria even under Trump where um fuck what was it they did they bomb something I don't remember they did but they did something bad and we're like 
Syria, not good. We're gonna bomb that Air Force base in like two days, okay? Make sure your people aren't there. Somebody's gonna get hurt. And then we waited a couple of days and then we bombed the fucking airport. It was like, there you go. Bad, bad, okay? Um, was it, it might've been another chemical weapons attack. Um, but yeah, I mean, unironically, yes, this rough. is what they do. Um, it, it's, it's not inconceivable that Iran might say this and it's expected. And I'm sure even the US State Department, everybody heard it. And then, um, <clears throat> They did it, but it's not going to remove them from talks of treaties or whatever. I doubt it's going to get them completely kicked out of like all the ongoing conversations, especially if Iran is doing it in retaliation for one some of their own being killed. Um, you know, that would be my guess. But <clears throat> so here is the um, the statement from the consulate. Someone else's else's life. Life. This is all boilerplate, like probably standard, my guess. Um, the United States strongly condemns the missile strikes in Erbil, Iraq, last night that emanated from Iran. The strikes were an outrageous violation of Iraq's sovereignty. No U.S. facilities were damaged or personal injured, and we have no indications the attack was directed at the United States. Iran must immediately cease its attacks, respect Iraqi sovereignty, and halt its interference in Iraq's internal affairs. The United States stands with our Iraqi partners, including in the Kurdistan region, and will help our partners in the region defend themselves. Standard boilerplate, right? So, yeah. Like there is no gain there. There is nothing. There is no reason. You would have to believe that they're like. I think if 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 Iran is claiming that some of its people were harmed, then there is a gain. You you want to see your country do something, right? You don't want like some of our people just got killed and you're not even going to respond. Like it would probably make you look like a massive cuck to your own people. So I mean, like that would my guess is that's probably the idea behind it, right? Well, look, we did something about it. You want to be able to point to an attack you did, some retaliation you got. Like just. God, it literally sounds like I'm fucking talking about Putin invading, uh, it, it sounds like Putin invading fucking, uh, uh, Ukraine, which many people are going to point back to and say, remember when you said that and you were wrong? And that's the fucking, it's the, sw see, this guy's already saying that. <laughs> yes, dude, I'm wrong, okay? It's probably Iran. You're right. It's probably Iran fucking blowing shit up for no reason. You're right. Let's believe that. Instead. But it's why does he keep saying for no reason? I don't know anything about what he's talking, but even I heard Hassan read that it was in retaliation for, um, it was a few Iranian soldiers or a couple of Iranian people got killed by in Iraqi territory. That's what it sounded like, right? So it's not for no reason. I feel like people don't understand how geopolitics works. They think that any attack means all talk stop, and now it's only kill or be killed. They're applying the logic of a 1v1 personal standoff of an action movie to a geopolitical situation, but everyone knows it's... Generally, always good to keep talking and try to get agreements and treaties. Yeah. That you got it. It's it's Iran doing it 100%. Iran's the one doing it. They're irrational. They just wanted to also simultaneously fucking uh, I don't know facilitate a, a denuclearization deal that they followed through no matter how much they got fucked over. Uh, so I guess I'm I'm yeah you're right. Every other country is is always shooting themselves in the foot. There is no other actors at play. Iran would definitely do this. You're right, dude. You got it. I wonder you know if he Iran thinks wouldn't do. Ron I'm so curious. I wonder if he thinks all of the Syrian chemical weapon stuff was like false flags from the West. I wonder if he believes any of that was real. On the top of the hour ad break, but I'm running it right now. At the top of the hour, is a 60 second ad break. Uh, and if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is fucking subscribe. God damn it, dude. I'm so annoyed. Like, one fucking dub for the American intelligence, and they never shut the fuck up. These goddamn stupid, pathetic, little sniveling cowards living in the Imperial Corps that regularly are like, I love war! I love war! I fucking love murder! I want more war! It hasn't Biden literally pulled us out of one theater? Like, we've left Afghanistan. We've explicitly stated we're not committing ground troops to Ukraine or doing a no-fly zone. Like, uh, where is this? Like, you, how can you call Byron? Uh, not Byron. How can you call Biden like hawkish on this? Or I, I don't understand the. It's this is so brain dead. It's so brain dead, dude. War is what I want. I'm sitting at home and I'm bored. I'm getting fatter every day, and I want more war to happen. Did you ever wonder how it's not like it's gonna ever impact me. Just think of this. America bad. True. <laughs> I 
I'm Iranian. The IRGC forces launched the attack from the city of Tabriz. Okay. Yeah, see, Iran did it. Iran did it. <laughs> Yeah, it was Iran. Iran's doing it. Iran's running the ads right now as well. <laughs> He's so mad, dude. I'm Iranian. Please glass us, bro. I want like that. Now that Iranian fan, that was a fake Iranian fan, okay? But the Iraqi fan, that was a real Iraqi fan. <laughs> like, keep in mind that Iran's already taking credit for the attack. Now, who knows why they did it? Maybe that was the CIA too. Is the CIA in the room with you right now? To blow us up, bro. Please, bro. States. Wait, what? Attack on U.S. consulate in Iran yes, happening no. now? Jesus.